I have been here at one of the first smells back then uh, as just a part of the crowd and I enjoyed it a lot. It changed a lot though, I have to say. It just looks totally different uh, and it feels a bit different. I think probably it went a little more commercial. I know people are going to hate me for saying that, but I guess the whole world every year goes a little bit more commercial. So. Um, Mel just went with it. Not in a very bad way though. I think the lineup is amazing. It's really great music and uh, the whole vibe is still there and the people uh, look, you know, the crowds out there look really nice. So yeah, looking forward to the show. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm just missing out on one because we do this interview now. Uh, it's Bilderbuch from uh, Austria, which um, yeah, I don't like too much German pop music or German language pop music, but um, their stuff is pretty tight, so I, I like it a lot. Yesterday I saw um, Trevor Horn, who's a producer legend from the 80s, and he had like kind of an all-star band with people that played with him in the studio. A lot of studio music musicians on stage. And it, it was very fun to see, it. it was amazing to see Trevor Horn perform live because he did stuff in the 80s like Grace Jones, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, like crazy stuff. Um, most people didn't even know what uh, Trevor Horn was involved as, as a songwriter or as a producer. And then they heard all the hits and they thought like, I know this, I know that, I know this, I know that. And suddenly there was a lot of people. Um, but still, maybe even after the show, they didn't know who the guy was. Who the hell is this guy? But yeah, he, like he, he was locked away in the studio for most of his lifetime. And I also have been locked away in the studio for over 200 years and then decided to walk out of the studio and show my real face to the people, which is golden and has a very long nose. Um, uh, and I like, I like the fact that, yeah, you have, um, you can lead several lives under the mask, but don't we all have different masks, so it's not a privilege that I only have, it's like everybody has different masks, plays different roles in their everyday life. I was given the mask uh, like some hundred years ago in what is now France. By, uh, by yeah, a craftsman who just uh, presented this to me and I took it on. And now it's part of my identity and there is no Clepton without the mask. given away once the Klepton, Klepton Immortal live show starts tonight. So we give these masks from stage to the audience. People, everybody can wear the mask. I mean, I invite everybody to be part of Klepton. That is what Klepton's about. It's about sharing with the people, sharing emotions with people. And that's why I give away imitations of my very own mask to the people.